Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Anthony Joshua, he's have his, he has a mega, mega, mega fight coming up uh, really soon. Well, April, be April, a couple months away. Uh, against Klitsch, Vladimir Klitschko, it's it's going to have 90,000 people there. Biggest fight in boxing as far as, you know, level of attention is going to get over there. Um, I think it's great for the sports. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. But uh, recently, I don't know if you guys have been following. It's been, I mean, if you haven't been following Anthony Joshua at all recently, you would know about this. But uh, recently, a picture, and I'm gonna, this, this is going to be a bit of a different, a different video because I'm touching on a subject that I usually would never touch on, which, you know, in my videos is, 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 is you know, it's a touchy thing to touch on, it's a t touchy thing to talk about, which is, you know, religion. But I feel like the fact that AJ is going through it, a a a AJ. Is, is going through a lot of criticism and I actually see a lot of parallels to Ali in many ways like um, anyway let me, let me just talk so Anthony Joshua was in, on vacation he took a vacation to Dubai and basically he posted a picture I mean one of his good friends is, is, a, is a practicing Muslim and they went to a mosque and there was a picture of him in a mosque with, with the whole get up you know uh, praying and stuff and People took big offense to that, you know, um, and, and a lot of people gave him a lot of hateful comments, and um, he kind of had to, de like, defend himself on a recent interview he did on IFL TV, uh, so we'll, I'm going to let Anthony Joshua talk about that whole scenario where he had to take the pictures in the mosque and, and, and all that stuff, and I'll give you guys my thoughts later on. So here's what Anthony Joshua said about the criticism he had over the picture of him in the mosque. Yeah, here's, here's what he said. When I'm back, I don't mind getting my head back in the books and just grinding out for a few more months. I would have to ask you, there was a particular day you was obviously out there where the internet more or less stopped and broke because of a picture you tweeted out. Um, a mixed response. Uh, it just it, talk to me a little bit about that. I don't want to right, delve into the political side of things, but I just want to, obviously the response you got, you would have been aware of. Uh, that's it, it was a mixed like, response. Um, I think it's always important to do what to do what you do. Um, it's your spirit, isn't it? You always follow um, decisions that your gut will tell you to do. So like this, rather than walk by direction, it's actually walk by faith because that gut feeling. So it's just like he was on a he was on a tour in Dubai, and uh, I'm open-minded, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I I have faith in God, but I haven't picked a religion to follow as such. So I just like to explore and learn about different cultures and religions. Like that. You know, one of my best friends from kids is, is a Muslim brother. So we was on a tour of Dubai and we was in the mosque uh, looking at how beautiful the architecture is. And it was his time to do afternoon prayer. So I just held him and said, look, put a prayer in for me. Do you know what I mean? Everyone needs a little bit of a blessing wherever it comes from. So we was in the mosque at the time. He said, why don't you join me for prayer? So. You know, he in, in, you have like an imam or imam, someone that leads prayer. So he was leading the prayer. So you follow, I followed the instructions. But I was praying to, even though I was respecting the culture, I was just praying in my own way, but following, you know, the way of Islam in, in that sense, and like bowing down on my knees and stuff. It would have been the same if I was in the church. So I think for me, it was definitely with pure intentions. But for others, I can't make up their mind of how they want to interpret it and how they want to um, explain their reasons for why they may have disliked it. You know, coming from, because for me it was just from pure intentions as I just explained. The first thing that came out from that picture is that anti Joshua is now turned Muslim. So can you just sort of clarify whether that is the case or I, the case? I don't want to start clarifying stuff, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because I think okay. that, um, I don't think I have to. If I want to be in a mosque, if I want to be in a, in a Catholic church or a church, it's all down to my decision. I don't want to start having to be like, oh, I'm going to church, but guys, I'm not a Christian. Um, that's silly, do you know what I mean? Um, so I just, I'm just in a mosque and I just want it to be blessed, to be, be protected. So I asked my boy to pray for me and he asked me to join him for prayer. So with all due respect, I, I followed the culture and the way the religion bowed down to God. All right, so there you have it. Now, this a lot, lot, lot of things to unpack here. Now, let me just say, um, in my own personal life, two things. Um, obviously, for those of you who know me, I am I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. 
Um, that's the way I. Uh, that that's the way. You know, I believe that's the best way to live your life. Um, and I don't knock anybody who who decides to follow their the, um, their own path um, or subscribe to another belief system. I mean, I, I obviously don't believe, and I believe that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, as it says in the scriptures. But um, with Anthony Joshua, I feel like he. I, I, know, I know people like him. Like I know people like him in my own life. Like there are people who are very open-minded people. People who are searching for something, and people who have a um, who are God conscious, but they don't they, they don't necessarily subscribe to any belief system because they're still searching. Which I think, you know, some people some people knock that. I think that, that can be a very beautiful thing because that's it, a lot of the times that's when you're most transparent with people, and that's when like you get to really um, like get to know God and, and, and really come to uh, understand Him. Um, now, my, my my prayer would be, you know, personally, I, I hope that. Um, one day I get to sit down with Anthony Joshua or talk to Anthony Joshua. We can have an educated conversation and, and he can give me his perspective and I can give him mine. But what I want to say is this. He got a lot of hatred thrown his way. And I, I from, from judging from the interview and judging from what he posted, you know, I don't really think uh, he, po uh, he, he was disrespectful in any way, shape, or form. I think he was just respecting the culture of his friend. And, 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 and I think it should actually be commended that, you know, we've had two heavyweights from the U.K., um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, very both very skilled fighters. To me, you could argue two of the top three best heavyweights when they were at their like when Fury was at the top of his game and Joshua now. Um, but I think it should be commended for both, both of them that we have them, we have guys in boxing who are talking about whether it's Islam or uh, Christianity. Uh, I think we should commend guys in boxing who are who are, who are just talking about. You know things beyond the sport, things beyond the the, the 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 vague aesthetic things that a lot of these people chase uh, in life. Like they're they're, they're they're searching for something more. And I, I I I respect both of them for that. Like, and I really hope that they become to know who God is, and and, and hopefully you know um, they they find their way. But um, Anthony Joshua, like I saw people comparing him to Muhammad Ali. And I won't get into that right here. Like like I don't think you can necessarily compare. Joshua to Ali. Now I will say that there's parallels because I believe around Ali's 19 to 20 fight, just before he fought Slain. Listen, that's when all the rumors of him with uh, Malcolm X and and, and and being with the Nation of Islam and uh, not Malcolm, wait, what's Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam. That's when those rumors begin to surface, and then and he changed the name to Muhammad Ali. So I think Ali was a bit more extreme and a bit more um, rooted. In his in his uh, his faith to Islam, I think Josh was more open-minded, and he he's kind of just trying to figure out his way. But regardless, I don't think a, 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 another man praying in a mosque or if he came to a church should affect how you view him as a fighter. You know, he's a tremendous fighter. He's someone who goes in there, and and, and so far he's knocked out every opponent. And you gotta give him his credit. He's fighting Christian's twentieth fight. And look, you know, do I agree with? With a lot, do I agree or understand a lot of the other coaches in the world? I'm gonna say with 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 uh, my wholeheartedly, no, I don't. Uh, so I'm not one to judge Anthony Joshua. I hope you know one day that, like I said, I, I get to have a conversation with him. But um, yeah, man, he got a lot, he got a lot of flack for it, and I don't think I wouldn't say he's like Ali in any regards. Ali was Ali was pretty open about his um, his allegiance to the Nation of Islam. Anthony Joshua, you know. He's just trying to find his way. So it, it, it's a different story. It's a different kind of um, dichotomy going on there. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, Anthony Joshua catches a lot of flack from UK boxing fans, UK in general, for posting a picture praying in a mosque. Uh, give me your thoughts on that and, and any parallels you might see to maybe Muhammad Ali. As far as, you know, because Ali, around his 20th fight, just like Joshua was about to have his 20th fight, was the same thing started to happen. So it's, it's crazy how that stuff works out. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Take the, time, take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from doing it. So until next time, take care, guys.